Chris Chan for KaijuPub.com, where today we're playing RP Swipe. Or RPS Wipe. Uh, it's one of those titles that, that looks clever written down and sounds kind of silly when you say it. Uh, it's a puzzle game. I'm going to start right away. Um, you can limit the amount of terms to take. Maybe I should have done that. The one game tends to take a while. Um, and if you look at it first, you've got a 4x4 grid and I'm swiping in different directions to combine things, or I will do in a second by that, see? And you kind of think, oh, this is a bit like that, that Threes game uh, that came out and was really good and then got cloned incessantly, so this must be a clone of that. Um, it's not really, it's it's kind of different uh, different enough to not call it a clone in a way, it's, it's only the, the tiles and the swipey part. Uh, that's the same. Uh, instead of combining numbers here to make bigger numbers, uh, the idea is that I'm playing lots of games of rock, paper, scissors. Um, and so you've got these square paper tiles, the scissor tiles, and the rock tiles. And it's like, right, I'm going to swipe the rock up there, it's there, and it's going to get covered by the paper, and then only the paper remains. Um, but the idea, apart from that, is uh, very similar to threes in that you want to keep on playing until the space is filled out. Um, which can take a while, so I'm not sure we'll, we'll play all of this game. Um, that said, the, what I think they've, they've recognized that uh, quite nicely by letting you um, just limit the amount of turns in a game. You can play just for 40 turns, 80 turns, or 160 turns, or just you know, keep playing as I'm playing here. Um, the twist is where it's more complicated even than just matching rock, paper, scissors um, is the thing here, if you see down the bottom I've got red paper and red rock so I'm going to match those two together but it doesn't work, they don't move the only way you can make a match is if it's of a different color so now on the right I've got red scissors and blue rock um, well actually that's not going to work either for reasons I'll get into. Uh, uh, let's go up here and bring that across. Well, okay, so now they've, they've combined. I hope you were paying attention there. Because um, I wasn't. And that's the, the problem with this game, I think. There's, there's, the rule set is so complicated that it's very difficult to keep track of things as compared to threes, which had a very, very simple uh, premise, it was just kind of, you know, it was difficult to be good at it, but it was very quickly understood. Uh, whereas here there's all these layers of rules, so you go, right, rock, paper, scissors, right, fair enough, I understand that. Um, and then, you know, that would be too easy, I think, and a game would last forever and a day. So, you know, let's make it a bit more complicated, so now they have to be different colours. Um, okay, I've got that much, but then... You also have to level up all the things on the, on the, uh, the grid. So, you see right now at the top, uh, the aforementioned red scissors, you know, in the second row there. Two sets. And red paper at the top there. Um, blue, ba sorry, red paper with the seven underneath and blue paper with the four underneath. Um, I should be able to use the scissors to cut the paper, but I cannot. Um, what I can, what I, you know, the reason why I can't do that is my red scissors are level 3 and the paper is level 4. So I can only match if <laughs> the scissors have a higher value than the paper. So if I merge the same item of the same color together, now they become more powerful. So now I've got red 6 scissors, but uh, I've, you know... <laughs> It's gotten complicated to match those things together, so yeah, you get in much like these, but more so because the rules are, are ridiculous. Um, you kind of get, or I do anyway, get all obsessed with, okay, I'm going to make that one match over there, and then you're completely unable to make it, and you make a different match entirely, uh, accidentally. It doesn't help that one swipe actually sends everything careening in the direction until it collides with something, as opposed to just moving one tile. Um, so there's another wrinkle that, that kind of makes the game a little bit harder to play. Um, yeah, so the... It's kind of... Uh, I haven't really played it uh, too much to make a complete judgment about it, and I think it, it would change, uh, it may change, and keep your eye out for the review on, on kaijupop.com. But it's 
just, it's too complicated for its own good. And I feel like when I'm doing well, it's not really under my control. And when I'm doing badly, I'm not exactly sure why. Um, and that's kind of a, a crucial failing if you're making a puzzle game. So I think that, that kind of makes the, the difference between something like threes where you start out and you're always rubbish at, at threes for the first few goes, but you're constantly thinking, oh, I know where I went wrong, oh, I really want to try again, I want to get better, as compared to this where, you know, it's difficult to say, it's, it's pre-release right now, I'm recording on Thursday the 7th of August, I think the date is, and uh, it's out on Friday the 8th, um, so maybe there's more play people playing by the time you watch this. Um, but with the pre-release leaderboards, it's difficult to get a gauge on what is good and what isn't. Um, seeing as uh, the first time I played this, it, it was me and the developer. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's just kind of tricky. It's a little bit muddled, kind of unconfident in itself. And, um, you know, even though I think the the ideas behind each individual element of it, they do work. I think like the rock, paper, scissors kind of concept, that makes sense. Um, the sliding all the way over instead of one tile, that's a little bit irritating, but I guess, you know, I mean, that that's it's fine in itself. Um, you know, I think the fact that you have to go with different colors, that's probably a necessary thing to balance the game because otherwise it would be too easy, it would last forever. Um, the leveling up concept is is kind of cool in a pseudo RPG way and that's how you get your scoring. I understand like every aspect of this makes sense. It's just that all of it together is too much, I think, for a puzzle game where simplicity is, is really, really important. Um, but it looks like a game is this game is coming to the end but then it's got three syndromes as well where you think you're right at the end of the game and uh you only you know it only kicks up a, a notch as i think the game actually gets a little bit kinder towards you with uh, the mergers or it's just easier i think actually it's easier to see what's going on because there's there's less space to worry about um hmm hmm that there, do that, there you go, and you get, uh, oh, I don't know, ooh, okay, sometimes three things merge into each other, I guess, like, when two papers collide into a rock, um, because everything is moving at, at pace, um, two, oh, might be over, mm, not quite, is it, it's not quite over, you see, I knew that was happening you know, because I was able to read the, the two spots left as opposed to the 16 spots on the grid. And that's a challenge in threes. Uh, you know, early sort of threes play um, is what makes your score, I think, in, in that game. Um, and it can be a cool thing in threes. Whereas so far with, with uh, rock, paper, swipe, I'm going to call it rock, paper, swipe audibly. Uh, you know, when I'm I'm saying the name, so I don't say RPS swipe up swipe, um, so I don't say that. But uh, yeah, I, I think with this, it's more like, oh, I, d I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to keep on swiping. <laughs> oh, I got some points. It, it feels a lot less cohesive and a lot more uh, random in a way, which is a shame. Um, but there's a few other things that, that it tinkers with um, in terms of the formula of this kind of uh, puzzle game. And if I keep, if I manage to die, I am literally at this point swiping at random. It's still doing pretty well, actually. We seem to be making lots of space. End it, end it all. No. The game won't let me end it. Don't give up, said the game. Uh, <clears throat> nope. It's over, surely. Isn't it? Isn't it, viewers? Or is it? I mean, it can't be, because otherwise the game would have said. Um, there we go. There we go. Kind of a, a rubbish score there. Um, so, yeah.
There's a, there's a couple of other twists to the structure of this kind of thing. Um, you can set the number of turns to 40, 80, or 160, as I said, um, and that kind of restricts the game and, and makes it a little bit more of a snappy experience. Um, I'd actually recommend playing that way, um, especially with you know limited turns. It kind of makes you think about the early game a little bit more, which is a decent, you know, it's, it's a pretty cool idea. Um, another thing perhaps that doesn't work so well uh, from what I've tried of it is a versus mode, this combative elements, um, which I keep on accidentally starting again. Uh, you can play against the AI or you can play against a human, uh, which is just, you know, same device uh, multiplayer here. And uh, we like games at kaijupop.com that have uh, same device multiplayer. That's a pretty cool uh, thing. And again, you can restrict the number of turns. And the idea here is you're playing exactly the same game, but as I play, as soon as I make a turn, uh, the evil blue player makes a turn. I, oh no, sorry, the evil red player makes a turn uh, by the AI and I am the, the blue guy here. Um, so the deal is, I think here, if you, if you level up items that doesn't count towards your score, uh, um, you have to make a match in order to score. Um, and this is a nice idea. Again, I kind of like a lot of the game. It's a kind of nice idea, but it's also just, yeah, that happens every now and then. <laughs> and obviously that's because the other player did something, but it's just really hard to keep track of. Um, I'm gonna bring that over there, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, because I don't have anything, I suppose that's to my advantage, I suppose. But in a way. Uh, but I don't have anything to work with here. It's rubbish. E yeah, you got some points there. Um, yeah, this just feels kind of even more awkward and, and kind of confusing. And I think, again, it's, you know, one of the benefits of single, you know, the best games that have single device multiplayer are games that, that don't need to be explained um, and you might be waiting with someone for a table at a restaurant or you might be, you know, wherever at the bus stop with somebody else <laughs> on your way to a thing that's like, okay, we'll, we'll bust out a little game and it doesn't take, you know, especially with on a phone game, you know, it, it doesn't take any explanation whereas RPS, sorry, rock, paper, swipe um, takes a lot more kind of explaining the, the sort of just the broad level of it rather than, you know, not even the intricacies. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit too big for its own boots, uh, really. It could have done with being a little bit simpler, being a little bit sim more simple. But, um, you know, there, there might be enough to like in there um, if you do a bit of digging. Uh, it's called Rock Paper Swipe, um, but it's actually written out RP Swipe. Uh, it's on the App Store by the time you listen to this for a couple of bucks. Actually, for the first uh, couple of days, it'll be on sale for a dollar. Uh, yeah, it'll only set you back a dollar or 69p if, if that's the equivalent, or 100 yen for the, the equivalent for here in Japan. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's yeah, if you, if you dive in while it's uh, still cheap, it, it, you might find something to like in there. Um, it's just yeah, a little bit harder to find the, uh, the gold at the end of the rainbow uh, than with three, say. Um, but yeah, an interesting one if, if maybe not uh, hitting it out of the park. Uh, Chris Charm for kaijupop.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.